Now, some something more on Composer. We used Composer to create the project, but we'll keep on using it every time that we need to update the de dependencies of our project. Um, if you look at the application root um, folder, there are two files, composer.json, composer.lock. Composer.json contains um, the dependencies with their exact versions, some other information, and there are parameters as well that you can change. Um, every time that you run the composer.fire install command, um, when, when you run that, it will, um, it will it will download what's in composer.log. So the first time we run that command, which is the, and that's when we created the project, these two files were created. They're exactly the same. They have the same content. So every time that you run install, it will ex it will download the stuff that's in composer.log. See it as a safety measure. If you give your project to another developer, if you're working in a team, they'll run the install command, and if they don't have the folder uh, folder in their project, they'll grab the dependencies that are here. But if you change your configuration, your dependencies, and then you run install, it will not automatically download the latest stuff. Um, that's it's it, this, the lock is a bit similar to to what they use in machinery when where if you're using a machine or you're working on a machine you sort of leave a lock and then somebody else cannot like um, mess that up so that's what this is used for if you want to update the the if you actually want to consciously update this and that's what I'll be doing now I'm gonna change one of the parameters then we have to run an update command and that will update the vendor library and it also update the lock and then the, the next developer uh, it's not going to have to run update again they'll just install and it'll grab this, the latest stuff from lock all right so um, the 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 parameter that I want to change is is the following in extra I'm going to be adding symphony asset install symlink so I told you this was the public uh, folder right um, when you have as, like publicly accessible assets such as images, CSS files, JavaScript files in your own bundles, they get copied here when you run um, the cage clear command lines. We'll look at those command lines later, but it'll copy stuff in here like uh, JavaScript files, CSS files, and they'll be rep they'll be duplicated basically. I don't really like that. I prefer I would prefer this to be a sim link, a symbolic link. If you're using Windows, you don't have access to that feature because Windows doesn't support symbolic links. But if you're using any Unix-based operating system, it will. Um, so by by typing this, don't type this if you're using Windows. Um, and then by running the update command, this will be all symbolic links to their original locations uh, inside of the source file, source folder. Um, and remember that I copied the far file into my www folder it's over um, here so I'll be running I'll just show you um, the both commands install and then this specifies the folder uh, course symphony course oh it's it should be PHP um, PHP composer so see how it's already warning me that the log file is not up to date. So that that is kind of telling you mm, you should run an update, but if you don't want to do it yet because you are on some stable version or some reason, don't you don't have to do it. But it's telling you that that you maybe should be looking into doing it. And then, but it didn't change anything, right? Because it it is um, up to date. Um, but if I run update. Like see how before it said nothing to up install or update. Well, now I'm forcing the update. So now the log file is also going to be updated. And when this finishes, um, we are going to end up with sim links in this in this folder over here. So you see that this is a very organized manner of updating your libraries, the versions of the libraries you're using, because all you do is um, just change those here, add new libraries here, change the versions that you're using, you're referring to, say you want to go back to a previous version because there's a bug, or you want to get the newest one, um, and then this is all you do, you don't have to go to the web and find them, and, like replace files, 
Um, so that's the that's the the basic usage of um, composers. See how now this is all um, symbolic links.